Jill, you joined the club in the summer as a coach, registered as a player as well, and you've done a bit of both so far this season. How have you found it? Yeah, it's really enjoyable. Um, obviously, didn't expect to play the games I have. You know, I did come here to primarily be a coach, um, but as it happened, you know, I've ended up playing. I kept myself fit enough. I kept myself in, in touch with it. Um, I trained most days anyway, um, d despite taking the sessions. Um, and, and yeah, you know, I've ended up between the sticks again. Presumably, coaching is something that you've you've always wanted to get into. At what point in your career did you start to have one eye on sort of getting yourself prepared for being a coach? Yeah, I think any player, you know, despite position, as soon as you get over thirty, you know, you haven't got time on your side. Um, and I think the foundations are put in place with you wear for badges. I, I did a couple of mine with the manager, and um, you know, I've been in the game since I was seventeen. My, my debut was seventeen, and I think when you're in football, as long as I've been, you become ins institutionalised with it, and um, it's something you always want to progress into coaching. What's it been like having to adapt to the coaching side of the game? Has your mentality had to change at all? Yeah, it does because obviously now you need to improve and, and, and help people and guide them uh, with, with what you've learnt throughout your career. And uh, that's something I've, I've hopefully brought to the goalkeepers here, um, you know, especially the young lads, that they can see what my points of view and how I get across certain situations that arise in games. Ian Everett, of course, the manager here and a teammate of yours for many years at Blackpool. What's your working relationship like with him and how have you found your time together so far here at Bolton? I mean, it's been great, you know, from day one. I call him Gaffer. It's not ever anymore. Um, you know, there's a hierarchy and that's that's how it is and he's a manager. And, um, you know, I've, I've adapted to that, no problem. He, he says, uh, you know, what to do and I do it and it's as simple as that for me. Called into the team for the Salford City match on Sky in November. You've kept your place in the team as well since then. How do you feel like your performances have been since you were called into the team? Obviously, that first game couldn't have gone any better, really. Yeah, I mean, it was a great start, and obviously, the five games, well, including that, was five games of, of winning. And, um, you know, the results haven't gone as well as we'd hoped recently. Um, but I still think that I bring a certain element of, of experience to the team, especially at the back, whether it just be talking through. The game to, the, to the, the, the lads in front of me, or whether it be, you know, certain things I, I impose on, you know, my, my point of the game, and and I just hope that I help throughout the team rather than just being a goalie. Towards the back end of your career now, of course, and until that Salford game onwards, you sort of not played week in week out for a couple of seasons. Really, have you got to be really on top of your recovery to be able to play two and sometimes three games in seven days? Yeah, I do. I, I do think, though, me being the edge arm and how I grew up in football, um, we, we're more robust. The older generation, you know, we can take knocks and, and, and bruises better. We we didn't have the facilities that, that the young players have today, and I think it was a, a mental a mental side of the game was was better then because you just you dug in and, and you got on with it. Um, so there is an element of that, I must admit. Um, but again, it, you know, I love playing football. I always have done. And it's just it's just football, so you know we're very lucky to do what we do. And if I get opportunity to play them, you know obviously I'm going to take it. March 2001 was when you made your professional debut. That's almost yeah. 20 years ago now. I know the objective of a goalkeeper hasn't changed. It's ultimately to keep the ball out of the net. But how how has the role of a goalkeeper changed since when you first started to now? Yeah, obviously there back then you were the bigger you are, the stronger you are, the more commanding you are. Uh, but it's totally changed now, obviously with with. Uh, different systems, different formations, tactics, playing out from the back, you've got to bet with your feet. Um, I think the vocal side's gone out of the game, which I still have for being being my age. Um, but yeah, I mean, you adapt, you overcome, and you, you like I say, you, you do what you're told and you get on with it, and either you sink or you swim, and thankfully at the moment I keep my head above water. Also, how has the game changed since then, both on and off the field, really? Because 20 years, it's a long time in football, a lot of things can change. Yeah, I mean, when I started, you, you took your own water to training, now you get it provided, you know, you, you looked after your own nutrition, now you get guidance. Um, the pitches were a lot worse back then, they were a lot better now. And I think footballers have got tactically better, um, you know, so the games are a little bit more free-flowing than when, when I started, um, and, and they've got a little bit more quality. Um, so it, it does change, it evolves, uh, obviously the Premier League now compared to what it was 20 odd years ago um, is a lot better, so, so this level's exactly, you know, it's moved on the same. You made your 500th career appearance recently as well, that must be something that you're, you're extremely proud of. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, growing up I, I just wanted to be a footballer, whether it be for two years, five years, ten years, whatever it may be, 
and I think in your head there was a, the magic number was 500. If you ask a lot of pros, you know, 500 is the number, and thankfully, um, you know, I've, I've been able to achieve that. And what period of your career do you look back on with the most fondness? Is there perhaps a period where you've got sort of more memories, more fond memories? Yeah, I think I can take memories from everywhere I've been. You know, obviously Blackpool and being promoted with that that team squad and the staff that we had there, and achieving you know a Premier League status for Blackpool was was massive. Um, being called up for Scotland, being in you know numerous squads and getting three caps was was something I'd never thought I'd achieve. Um, so you know they've got to hold that close to me. Um, but but probably having a longevity as well. Like I say, you know I, I know players who have did 12 months in the game, did three years, five years, and and now they're working you know on building sites and stuff. So I think for me to stay in the game as long as I have is a is a massive achievement. Assessing the current situation that the team is in, how frustrating is it when the wins aren't coming as often as you'd like, and and how do you deal with as a professional those sort of setbacks, which I'm sure you you're used to from your career. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think you're right, you do get used to dealing with it, but it doesn't make it any better. I still go on on a Saturday night if we've been beaten. You know, I can I can I know the missus is treading on eggshells and you know the dog stays out of my way and it it, it does affect you still. It's winning or losing. Yeah, it's that winning mentality. It's a winning that mentality. Stays with you. And, and no matter how old you are, what level you are, that should matter more than anything. Um, I think we've we've been unlucky in games this year uh, where we should have got more from it. And you know sometimes drawing games has a, has the same effect as losing games when you know you should have won. Mm. And I think dealing with it gets better. But th that initial loss and then that that Saturday night it doesn't get any easier. You're on the training ground, of course, every day with the the lads and, and working with the staff. I'm sure I know the answer to this one, but have you seen enough to suggest that? We've got in the locker to push up the table and still have a successful season. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, I think. This season, we've had to build a squad, we've had a salary cap, we've had a pandemic, we've had issues at the football club. You know, the list goes on and on, and they're not excuses, that's just facts. And, and um, you know, the manager's dealing with things every day. Um, but, but the squad itself has more than enough to be higher up the league, certainly. Um, but I can assure you that no matter what happens, we will be, we'll be fighting, you know, all the way. And, you know, the manager every day and Pete every day and myself will be driving them on.